What's up, people? To all returning subscribers, welcome back. If you're new here, please subscribe to join this wonderful family. Okay? Great. So, this is part three of a series that I began on understanding copyright. In part one, we talked about the legal framework that there is for copyright protection in Kenya. In part two, we talked about registration of copyright. And so, if you haven't watched any of those, Kindly click on the links that will be running somewhere on this channel so that you can bring yourself up to speed with where we left. To the returning subscribers, you will recall that I concluded part two of that episode by emphasizing again that by virtue of copyright, your music is supposed to earn you a living. When your music is used commercially or, pu or played publicly in bars, restaurants, public service vehicles, aeroplane, or even streamed on online, you know, streaming platforms such as Spotify, you are supposed to earn a living. But then I asked, what is the practicability of you going to all these places to collect what's due to you? Impossible, right? That's why in this part three, we are going to talk about collective management organizations, that is CMOs. These are bodies that have been mandated to collect and negotiate royalties on your behalf. My name is Klichi, and this right here is Klichi Blogs. <music> Guys, uh, Section 30A of the Copyright Act as amended by Act Number 20 of 2019 as long as your sound recording, as long as your music is used commercially or played or performed publicly, then you, together with your producer, are supposed to earn a living out of it. So out of that, you know, phrase, I want you to get the following three keywords. There is your sound recording or music, there is performance or performing, and there is your producer. Out of these three words, we'll discuss three main CMOs that we have in the country. We're going to talk about the Music Copyright Society of Kenya, MCSK. We're going to talk about Performers Rights Society of Kenya, that is PRISC. And lastly, the Kenya Association of Music Producers, and that is CAMP. Now I mentioned in part one of this series that the Kenya Copyright Board has been mandated with the duty to license and supervise collective management organizations. Collective management organizations must have their main object as negotiating and collecting royalties on your behalf. In other jurisdictions, such as USA and Canada, they are called the performance rights organizations. You probably have heard of ASCAP, BMI, and CESAC. The first two, ASCAP, and BMI are government owned, CESAC is privately owned, and that is as far as it goes. So let's go back to our CMOs, and I want to answer three main questions. Number one, what happens legally when one joins a CMO? Secondly, how can one join these CMOs? And lastly, why do we have three CMOs? Listen, for CMOs to effectively represent you, you have to assign the, the rights to your music so that they can effectively, you know, negotiate and collect royalties on your behalf. And so legally, this is what happens when you sign up with a CMO. Number one, you will assign what we, what we call mechanical rights. Mechanical rights are the right to make records such as tapes, compact discs, and digital files which embody your work or music for purposes of letting, hiring, or exposing the same. You will also be assigning broadcasting rights. This includes the right of rebroadcasting, communication to the public about the broadcast, decrypting in any way or form any encrypted broadcast or any adoption or modification by way of commentaries or any unauthorized expropriation of the broadcast including the right to control the taking of still photographs therefrom. Number three, you will be assigning performing rights. Performance in this regard include any mode of visual and acoustic representation of copyright work 
including any such representation by operation of radio apparatus or exhibit, exhibition of cinematograph film or by the use of a record or any other means. You will be assigning this category of rights on the, on the understanding, on the premise that your CMO will from time to time be you know, remitting such sums of money as agreed between you, the assigner and your CMO you know, for, for purposes of copyright or the work that you will have registered with them. Now, there are instances where you might have had, you know, such kind of an agreement where you have licensed or assigned your right to another entity such as a record label. In that instance, CMOs understand. In fact, all that you need to do is to disclose that fact and file the kind of agreement that you have with your record label, for example, with, the, with your CMOs. In an instance where you want to, you know, sign up with another CMO, your CMO can, you know, reassign your rights back to you so that you can deal accordingly with your new CMO or record label. So depending on, you know, the circumstance, all you just need, need to do is, you know, talk to your CMO so that you can have an understanding, okay? So now let's answer the how. How does one sign up with these CMOs? For MCSK, you simply need to visit their official website. That is mcsk.or.ke. And then you'll click on this membership tab so that you can get further guidance on the documentation that you need. You will be, prompt, you will be prompted to download the necessary forms and fill them out. These forms include a membership application form, mechanical rights form, new work declaration form, and a deed of assignment. Please note that you can register with MCSK either as a composer or a publisher. We'll talk about the music publishing business in a whole different you know, episode. But then if you're registering as a composer, the last time I checked, the fee is 5,000 Kenya shillings. If you're registering as a publisher, the fee should be 10,000 Kenya shillings. Once you have all these requirements ready and the necessary forms filled, you'll visit the nearest MCSK office in your region and submit your forms for processing. Okay? Good. Now, for Prisk and Camp, you'll also need to visit their website. For Prisk and Camp, you'll do the registration online and you simply need to visit their respective websites. For Prisk, the website is prisk.or.ke while for camp, the website is camp.or.ke. Please note, you can only join Prisk as an individual, whereas camp, you can join either as an individual or an entity such as record label. Now, the last time I checked, the registration fee for camp is 10,000 shillings, whereas for Prisk, it is 5,000 shillings, okay? Great. So now let's answer the third question, which is, why do we have three CMOs in Kenya? This is a question that I was asked by one subscriber known as David Koira. Listen, the law provides at section 46.5 that the Kenya Copyright Board shall not register more than one CMO to represent the same class of rights. And therefore, this provides a leeway for someone to say, if MCSK does not represent our rights as performers, then why don't we register PRISC? And then someone else will say, if PRISC and MCSK does not represent our rights as producers, then why don't we, why don't we you know, register CAMP? In fact, a story is told of one time when the Attorney General called renowned music producers at the time, including Suzanne Gachukia, the former manager of Camp Mula, and the late Bruce of Diambo. And the AG explained what the law provides. In fact, he urged them to form an association that will, you know, represent the rights of producers that is different from MCSK that will, you know, represent the rights of music producers. And that was the birth of CAMP in the year 2003. In fact, the late Bruce of Diambo served as the first chairman of the board of directors to come, okay? I think that makes sense now. 
great. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the conclusion of this series on understanding copyright. I hope you've learned a thing or two regarding copyright and we'll take necessary steps to ensure that our rights or our copyright in our music are protected. I will let you know of my next topic in my social media pages. And so if you're not following me, please make a point to do so. I have included the links to all my social media pages in the description you know, box down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make a point to do so and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next topic. Till next time, ciao.